I'm often asked, should I extract chill differently according to the ratio of espresso? Well, today I wanna to focus on that more modern, open style, stretched out, one to 2.5 or even one to three style ratio pours, and how I apply extract chilling to match this style of coffee. So when we stretch out our espresso to longer ratios, we're using dilution to bring down the intensity of elements like acidity. Now this is why that more stretched out ratio will often work for coffees with more acid present in the coffee. Now with traditional espressos where we're shorter ratios, one to two or shorter, we're actually using sweetness and body to overwhelm that present acidity. We're trying to rein that in by having more of the other elements. So this means the mechanisms of finding balance are very different with these two different styles of coffee. And therefore, applications of things like the cup shape and even extract chilling would need to change to suit each style. Now when I run these more stretched out open styles of espresso, I'll often use these more open style cup. This tends to open up those more delicate elements and tends to smooth off the finish. And this is often actually opposite to what I would do for that shorter style ratio, where I'm using that more narrow style cup in order to close down the present acid and allow that body and sweetness to rein everything in, to allow that acid not to be perceived as too high in level. So today I'm running a washed Rwandan coffee. It's a Bourbon. It's quite fast roasted, eight and a half minutes, 13% uh, development, quite a light end degree. So there is present acidity in that coffee. Now to balance this out, I've increased the temperature, 94 degrees. I've dropped my dose down 19 grams and I'm stretching that out to 47 grams in the cup. So that's that more that one to 2.5, one to three style ratio espresso. This is that more modern, open, lower strength style of espresso. All right, so now I'm gonna run an espresso of that wash for London. I'll be running a 30% chill versus the entire pour, and we'll go through what we taste. All right, so I'm looking for that acidity to be high tone, vibrant, and to then round off at the end. As it comes into the palate, I notice there's a lot of vibrancy. It's really sparkly, it's bright. And then as it moves through, it doesn't go sour. It rounds off and becomes sweet on the finish. All right, so second cup. All right, so really different. Uh, this one is still high tone, vibrant at the beginning. And as it moves through the palate, there's a point, middle to back third of my palate, it sort of sticks out. And there's almost a sourness there. Um, this doesn't round off and go smooth. It almost comes across as a little bit astringent as well. Um, it doesn't give us that really round, smooth transition over the palate. So that second cup was extract chilling the 30% of the pour. And this is a tendency I found often with these more stretched out open styles of espresso, that that shorter extract chilling, which while it works for more traditional styles of coffee, it will often give us that sharpness or sourness at one point in that transition over the palate. So as I go for coffees like this, the more stretched out ratio, I'll usually reach for an open cup and then I'll extract chill 100% of the pour. So I'm not spending espresso after espresso testing side by side. Now, as we know, everyone makes coffee differently. This works for me, and I'd be curious to hear if this works for you in the comments below. Happy chilling.